Hey guys, it's Mike at East Coast Lumen Outpost, and I got a video today for you. And this is on a couple flashlights. Uh, I've been using them for a week at work, and I really think that these two are like an ultimate work pair of flashlights. Uh, one is a headlamp, and to be honest, I've never used a headlight at work before, but uh, man, this thing's like a game changer. I'm never gonna not use a headlamp at work. Uh, I work on cars all day, and, uh, having something, uh, like on your head, like a real nice light, uh, that you can just aim and, and point, uh, where you want it to shine, uh, like, it, it's so obvious. It frees up your hands, and I, I don't know why I never really used one before, um, uh, but this one... This is the Workos HD50, uh, and this is a real badass headlamp. And then this is like a little pen light. Uh, this is the Workos WK05. Uh, so I'm going to go over both of these. Uh, going to be a pretty quick video. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the quality for what you pay on both of these is outstanding. Uh, and, and I feel like that's with all of these Workos flashlights. Uh, they keep getting better and better. Uh, so first with this Workos HD 50. Uh, so this light has a couple different settings and it's super easy to navigate the UI. Uh, so basically to start, uh, it takes a 21700 cell. It's rechargeable on the light itself. Uh, charges up at 10 watts, which is pretty quick. Um, USB-C. And to turn it on, you have one button here. And that turns it on. That gets you going. Uh, now, this will always turn on wherever you left it off. Uh, right now, it's in like the flood beam. Uh, which is the smaller of the two, uh, like, white lights. Uh, this flood beam is a high CRI, which I really like in automotive. Uh, it helps you see the difference in color uh, between a lot of things, like, the especially wiring. It makes a big difference. Uh, but also, this high CRI is, uh, the reflector in here is uh, a lot floodier uh, than the other beam. Uh, so... Uh, usually I'll keep it on this high CRI flood beam. And then click and hold on the function button will cycle through all your settings. You have low, medium, high, and then 1000 lumen turbo. So double click, there's your turbo. And, and it's bright. Uh, now working on cars, probably for mostly everything, you don't need thousand lumen turbo I usually keep it on the medium uh, and man I charge this thing once and it's lasted over a week I have not had to recharge it uh, you do get like your kind of battery gauge here uh, the colors will change when it starts to die um, so start from the beginning turn it on and you're in your memory mode. This is wherever you had it last. Uh, one click on the mode switch button here will switch it to the next setting. So this is a combination of spot beam and flood beam. Uh, the spot beam is uh, more of a 6,000 Kelvin and the high CRI flood is more of a 4,000 Kelvin. So switch it again and you get your red light. Uh, this is going to be most handy for, uh, I guess, just hunting uh, and being inconspicuous in the dark uh, when it comes to, like, animals. They, they don't pick up on the red light. That's why it's very popular with uh, hunters. And I would think that this light would be popular with hunting also. I don't think it's just a uh, light for a, a professional technician, that type of thing. Um, in all of these settings, you still get your low, medium, high, and then turbo. So double click goes to turbo. Now, with red light, like this turbo is 
135 lumens. And the way that it works with, like, red light, 135 lumens of red light seems way, way brighter than 135 lumens of white light. Like, this red light is so crazy bright right now that it's it's probably as bright as this flood beam. Uh, but because it's red, the lumen rating is less. So the last setting here is going to be, let's turn it on, your spotlight. Uh, this is where you get the most lumens. So this puts out, let's click and hold and cycle through, low, medium, high, and then turbo. This puts out 3,000 lumens. And it is blindingly bright, incredibly bright. Uh, and also, it gets hot. Like, this thing starts to get hot when it's cranking out 3,000 lumens. Now, even if you have it in turbo... When you cycle settings, it will stay in turbo. So right now with this combo of spot and flood, uh, it's putting out 4,000 lumens. And that's the maximum brightness that this uh, headlamp uh, will give you. Uh, and yeah, this, this thing's getting hot. Uh, but it's also just searingly bright, incredibly bright. Uh, it does come with a really nice strap. Easy to get in and out of. And comes with your battery charger, comes with the battery, uh, you know, everything you need to get going. So, like right now is your headlamp setup. Uh, and you could literally wear this on a hat, wear it on your head, put it on when you're working on a car. If you got a job, uh, that wearing this will come in handy. Um, it has been a game changer for me. Uh, I was doing uh, AC compressor on a Nissan where I was, uh, I actually had to drill out a bracket uh, and I was like under a car for quite a while. Um, and normally I'd have like a flashlight in one hand or even a lot of people and myself included, I'll hold the flashlight in my mouth while I'm, you know, doing my thing on the car, uh, this was a game changer. This just freed up my hands. I just put it on my head, and you could spin it in here in this little thing, you know, wherever you're looking at, point it wherever you want, uh, keep it on. Again, I usually keep it on the flood beam, and then maybe, yeah, I usually keep it right there in medium on the flood beam, and this thing will last you, like, all week on a single charge in this setting. Uh, so, yeah, this thing is sweet. And for the money, uh, right now it's on, like, double sale on Amazon. Uh, it's $49.99, and then I think it's 20% off, which brings it down to $40. Uh, and just the quality for what you get for that money, uh, it can't be touched. Um, so I'll leave a link for this one. Um, yeah, I'll just leave like an Amazon link. It's the best place to buy these Workos lights is on Amazon. Uh, and then this next one, I just bought this one. Uh, came in a week ago. I've been using it uh, for like a week at work. Um, I wanted a new just like pocket light, like a, a shirt pocket light. Um, I've been using like wedge style lights for the past couple months. And I wanted just a traditional light that I could keep uh, in a shirt pocket or in a, a pants pocket. Um, and I saw this. I haven't seen this before on uh, Amazon, but it, it popped up. And it was, geez, it was cheap. I think it was 35 and then 20% off. So I think it wound up being like 26 bucks or something. Um, but this is a double 14500 uh, Or you could use double... Uh, double A's, so it's a double A battery or a double A flashlight. Um, it comes with the rechargeable 14500s, which is nice. So it comes with 
two high quality 14500 batteries and this has the uh, 519A uh, the Nichia 519A uh, LED uh, I believe it's 4000 Kelvin uh, I also believe you can get it in the cool white, like 6,000. Uh, but I, I wanted the more warm light. And it's no-nonsense easy. It's literally on, off, you know. On, off. Now, the other thing I really like and what I look for in a, a pen-style light is momentary on. So that's where you don't have to turn it all the way on and you can use it so I use that a ton if I take it out of my pocket and just shine up you know on look at something for a little bit and then off without having to click it on uh, I love that feature and the other thing I love about this light uh, is the UI more lights should be designed just like this so Turn it on, and it's always in this setting. Turn it off. If you want to change settings, you use the side button. So, click, and you get low, medium, high. And that's it, you know. I keep this in the high. So, it's like 50, 100, 300 lumens I keep it right there and this is what I use all day every day perfect brightness for inspection for working on a car now it can get brighter if you double click the side button you get 900 lumens but when you turn it off it'll default back into your high mode so it won't come on in that 900 lumen mode. And that makes sense for uh, a light like this. I wouldn't want it to. I will never use the 900 lumen mode. Um, I'll show my friends, you know, oh, look how bright it is. But I'm never going to keep it in that mode. I want it 300 lumens. That's what I want. And I want it to be 300 lumens every time I touch or turn on this switch. And it's efficient, reliable, awesome. Um, the one downfall of this light, what would put this in an S tier perfect work light, is if this were rechargeable on the light. Uh, that is its downfall, is it's not rechargeable on the light. You have to take the batteries out, and you have to put these batteries in a separate charger uh, that is a big downfall what I am going to do to mitigate that is I'm gonna find uh, and I have a lot of batteries like this already but I, I'm gonna get a battery that's a, a 3.7 volt and it's the size of two of these you know it, it looks just like that it's the length of two of these it's a like a double 14500 3.7 volt that has the charger built in uh, this type of battery comes in the new Nightcore pen light um, yeah if, if it had a, a battery like that from the get this would be S tier inspection light for uh, automotive technician uh, right now it's A tier I'm gonna source a battery like that and this is gonna be my new permanent work light uh, I'm just gonna find a battery like that it's not a big deal I probably have five of them in my uh, flashlight collection already I'm just gonna uh, salvage one uh, but yeah that's uh these two new workos flashlights um, the headlamp is definitely s tier uh, game changer at work and the inspection light is a tier would be s tier and will soon to be s tier as soon as I get a rechargeable 3.7 volt battery for this uh, one that has the charging port on the actual battery um, so yeah I hope you guys like this this is what I got coming up for you soon 
Uh, I love Jet Beam flashlights. Uh, Jet Beam has uh, uh, done me dirty recently because I pre-ordered a light on... Um, uh, what's it called on on the uh, online uh, Kickstarter, and they haven't sent it, but you could buy the light now in stores. But you still, they haven't sent my one that I bought months ago. But regardless, I really like these Jet Beam lights, and this is my collection of the Jet Beam RRT flashlights, uh, the ones that have the rapid response, uh, infinitely brightness. Uh, you know settings. Uh, I'm I want to do a video on this, and and uh, that's probably going to be coming up within the next week. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video. I'll leave a link in the description for both of these, and I will catch you guys real soon. Peace.